A naked Florida man hurls an urn full of ashes during an argument. Uh, no doubt a family member's ashes were hurled during this argument. Why was the man naked? I have many questions. After throwing an urn containing a family member's ashes at someone, a naked man from Sebastian was arrested early in the morning. Uh, why was he naked in the house? That seems strange. He's a 46-year-old. He's a grown-ass man. He's naked around his family in the morning. I assume in the in the family room because that's, that's where usually you keep the ashes. I hope this isn't right post-funeral or something or some service for the deceased. Uh, according to the Sebastian Police Department, 46-year-old Scott Cornwell got into a heated argument with the, with the victim, which escalated when Cornwell threw the glass-style urn at the victim's head. Seems a little excessive, but maybe there was no other weapon or missile within the vicinity. I'm going to say it wasn't calculated. He just grabbed whatever was close, chucked it. These things are heavy, though. As the officers arrived on the scene, they found the victim at a neighbor's house. The victim's face had multiple swollen, bloody masses bursting open. What? Multiple swollen, bloody masses bursting open. That's exactly what it says. It's like uh, they pulled it right out of a horror, me horror film script. <laughs> multiple swollen, bloody masses bursting open. Who wrote this description? Clive Barker? Clive Barker. Is that his name? <laughs> Who was the horror movie guy? Uh, I think I got close enough. The victim was transported to the Sebastian Hospital with multiple bloody masses bursting open. Don't worry, they have a multiple bloody masses bursting open ward at your local hospital, I am sure. And they can close some of these bursting open bloody masses that are swollen and bursting. I hope this person survives. This is shitty. Uh, it was later discovered this person had a fractured nasal cavity. Grandma's ashes fractured your nasal cavity. It's a terrible situation. Something that no one wants unless... I mean, there's a chance that this is... These are the wishes of the deceased. Maybe the deceased had a personal grudge against this family member and was like, For my final wishes, I would like to be cremated, placed into a glass urn, Heavy, please, heavy and large. And then if someone could smash Gerald in the face with it, <laughs> that'll teach him. <laughs> My final wishes.